Hello everyone, this is Jesse from the Boys and Girls Club. Today I'm talking Lyricism 101, part three of our videos. This one's about finding your voice and getting your voice heard. So by now, hopefully, you've written some rhymes out. You've gotten inspired by some music that really makes you feel something, you want to write some rhymes, and um, you've written something maybe that you want to make a point, get your point across. So it's about finding your voice. So what does that mean? Basically, you know, everyone hates the sound of their own voice. I think there's even a scientific term that describes that. So if not everyone, if that's not you, great. But if you don't like the sound of your voice, don't worry, you know? I say the more you do it and the more you rap and kind of just rhyme and stuff, you, your voice will improve, so it'll evolve. I hate the first stuff I ever made, like it really annoys me, but the stuff I listen to now, I'm like, yeah, I've, I've improved over the years, you can tell. Um, it's important, you know, with your voice, finding your voice, the tonalities. What kind of song did you make? Did you make a, a sad song? Maybe you just want to rap it kind of like melancholy, the tonality in your voice. Maybe you made an exciting, happy song and you want to rap it great, you know? So like, that's one way. Or maybe it's real hard and like angry and uh, just kind of get your rhymes across, real guttural kind of, you know? So whatever kind of theme of your song, maybe change your voice to suit that. Uh, an example that comes to my mind is a rap group called Cypress Hill. They're really famous for a song that's insane in the membrane, insane in the brain. And that rapper uh, actually changed his voice. Like he doesn't talk like that normally. It's kind of like a real high pitched kind of voice. Huh? But he changed that voice to make his record more appealing. So that's maybe something you could do. Just find, make a character. A lot of rappers, you know, if you're actually going to get on the stage and rock the crowd as an MC, move master of ceremony, moving the crowd, you might want to create a character, you know, dress the part, put on an outfit that's going to, you know, grab people's attention and maybe make that character kind of voice uh, kind of interesting that people are going to be like, oh, this is new. So that's just an idea. Or I would say, honestly, you are unique. Just stay true to you and um, just practice, practice, practice. So another thing about rapping, when you actually get in front of a crowd with the microphone or without a microphone, you always want to enunciate. Enunciate is how you pronounce words. Because if you're just kind of going across mumbling every word you say, that's going to be hard to hear and understand. So avoid mumbling unless it's a stylistic choice. Pronounce your words. Hand in hand with that is projection. Projection is kind of putting your voice out there so it really can be heard in like certain syllables. You know, you want to practice. It all comes in due time of practice, but I would say if you have your rap written, say it a few times over out loud and maybe even record this and kind of listen to the recordings and find out, you know, if you're changing your voice through the different recordings, that's a technique too. Maybe do one recording, like kind of just normal how you'd read it. Maybe do another one where you're really energetic and kind of uh, highlighting different words, like enunciating and pronouncing kind of the syllables of different words, maybe a little more uh, different, you know. So just kind of change your style on different recordings and then pick the one you like best. That's a way to kind of find your voice. Another one, um, you know, you talk about breath control. Black Thought, Tariq, Black Thought from the Roots has a 10 minute freestyle on YouTube and he goes on line after line, never stopping rhyming. And you're like, how does he do that? Just kind of one line after another and it all flows into each other and he doesn't even seem like he's taking a breath. But that's because he has breath control, control of his breath. So he is like, he's breathing as he's saying it. And he's just a veteran MC. So he does it flawlessly and easily. But it's something, you know, breath control is important. The more you rhyme, you kind of get that. Uh, developing a flow. Flow is kind of like the rhythm of the beat, the vibe. So maybe, you know, you're picking out beats you like. And one way, an example, you know, I'm just going to read a different flow of Twinkle Twinkle Little Star. You could be like, Twinkle, twinkle, little star, how I wonder what you are. That's one flow. Or you could be like, twinkle, twinkle, little star, how I wonder what you are. They sound different, even though they're the same line. So that's just kind of how the flow changes. So you want to develop your own flow. That's something that'll come in due time with practice. And um, yeah, so listen to a bunch of different rappers. That's a good way to kind of figure out like, okay, I like this style, maybe more in that style. And I don't want to say a copy or bite them, but, you know, just kind of get some information from them and develop your own voice. Um, it's good, you know, like I said, commit those rhymes to your memory. If you have those rhymes memorized, you can kind of play with that flow more and like tinker with, you know, just the way you, a faster line or a slower line, how you rhyme it. So 
that's always good. And even with practice, like if you're a freestyling, if you want to freestyle, the more you practice, the more words are in your mind already off the top. So you can just kind of drop it on the one and just kind of go with it, you know, and just run across wherever your thoughts lead you and kind of come up with a rhyme that way. So, um, yeah, so put emotion into it, just developing your voice, finding your voice and enunciating, projecting it out there. You'll be a good rapper. And like I said, you are unique. You wrote something unique to you. And if you want it heard to the masses, get out there and do it in front of some people and it'd be great. So you are hip hop. You make it happen. Keep it alive. Keep it well and healthy. Thank you.